And hello and welcome. Q Sports International and Predator present the 2023 Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championships. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, and there's 128 players playing for $250,000 in prize fund, 60,000 to the winner. Stage one is a race to eight, double elimination, winner breaks. This is George Teche on the booth, joined by the famous Mark White. Good evening, everybody. Really looking forward to this one. The reigning world 10 ball champion on your left at the table about to break off. Double reigning Las Vegas Open champion, Victor Zelensky. Expect this, expect fireworks. Fireworks and a half. It's going to look like the 4th of July, George, above the skies of Las Vegas tonight. Yeah, it's an all Polish event, folks. 22 year old right here at the table that just pocketed the ball on the break couple of balls on the break. And to keep it simple, he made him in the same pocket. And he's got a shot on this too. Will he take on the bank? I'm not sure it goes by the 10. Or will he just cut it down he's the rail? Yeah, he's already called the corner pocket. Well, I think he's he? cutting it in, George. I mean, yeah. this looks mighty fine from this oh, angle. I've been, I've been watching these players cut this in with ease. It's sick how good they're hitting this ball. it's held up now he'd love to be well straight on this so he can run through for the four into the side that could be the play here this is the round two of the one loss side both players have uh, won a match and lost a match some high powered offense here a little bit short there but cue ball will go off the end route probably or could do leave the five ball short side i like it I, I like just following this and using the nine to get to the five he might just go right, he, he might just go right into the nine ball or just barely missing oh he's going all the way around i thought he was just going to lay it on the rail now he's got a steep cut well this is similar to the two ball he started this uh, run with this is a <laughs> bit more difficult though <laughs> You called that one, Mark. You sure did. That's like about four times harder. He's going to think about it big time. He's very offensive minded. So uh, don't be surprised to have him cut this in the side, uh, bank this in the side pocket. Okay. I don't hear anything. Went for the bank in the corner. Yeah, got reasonably safe. Although he's going to cut go at this, George. Oh, yeah, you can see all of it. Wow. Then cut on this five, and he's going to end up in a good position for Wojcik. Victor, not so much. Maybe straight up and down with the five ball here. Hold the cue ball behind the nine. I like that. I also like him cutting it. Well, yeah, cutting it on the left side and bringing the cue ball around to the seven, eight. But there's a big lane between the seven and the rail. He's just going behind. Going to keep the five ball. Oh, he's giving up a nice bang shot here. I think Wojcik will fire at this. Yeah, he's called it straight away, George. Yeah called it almost as quick as you did then. Well, when you see a bank shot like this, if you're going to bank a ball, you want to bank a ball to the side pocket just with the angle that he has right here. And that's why. Crack. Straight in the back of the pocket. This is fighting for the first game. Zielinski broke the balls. And Wojcik, he's going to pot them. <laughs> he's going to pot the rest of them after that one. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Nice control to come in, what was it, two inches from the side pocket, knowing he's going to hit there.
Well, these two balls, and then we'll go for some entertainment, folks. We'll entertain you for a, for a minute or so and be right back with the action. But we've got two balls to finish here. Has he overhit it? <laughs> no, he's left himself a pretty much an unmissable 10 ball. And secures the first game. And we'll go to a break, folks. Be right back. And we are back. Game number two. Bojek, Shevchik, breaking the balls here. These two gentlemen have matched up seven matches around the world. And the man breaking has won six of them for a little tidbit. That comes via head-to-head -head analysis from Fargo. And when you compare all their common opponents, they are both right at about the same win percentage. They're both right at 55%. So this is as close as it gets. I love your stats, George. Well, you know, Wojcik is at 813 Fargo. Victor is at 810 Fargo. Three points difference. Do you ever get any sleep, George? Never. I like playing with numbers. And in case my wife is still up. Hello, Judy. Oh, oh uh -oh. wow, unlucky is that. Especially if this goes in as oh. well. Oh. If it goes in, it would actually be lucky for him. At least uh, he might be put back in the box to do something with it too. Yeah, good point, George. Oh, wow. a friendly kiss, look. Yep. Made it perfect. Yeah, the defending champion has got a very nice position on this ball. He does not want to hit it going into the pocket, though, to hit the three ball, because he'll move it out of position. Beautifully, beautifully oh, shot. Oh, that's a glorious yeah. shot. Nicely played, Wojtek Shevchik. Nice. Setting out his stall here. This could be two in a row. Four, five combo. You heard him just call the five ball there. Now he's got one of those thin cuts that Zielinski shot out to begin with. Yeah, and he actually played that just in case he did make both balls. So give himself a shot on the six as well. Last thing you want to do is make both balls and have no shot on the next mm. ball. So played it well, and this is absolutely perfect on this seven look. Great point, Mark. Well, I wonder if um, seniority ranks in the Polish contingent. I just think 
They're a wonderful country with some wonderful pool players. And they're like a, a team, of course. They're individuals and they all want to win their own matches, but as soon as any of them are out, you'll always see them in the arena. And they're all very recognizable as all of them wear the same shirt. And so you'll see them, you might see some in the stands. Uh, stands full of people coming out for the BCA and uh, USA Pool Leagues. Part of the Q Sports International Expo here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. A few matches on our outside tables. Duan Kok Hong from Vietnam. Well, Evan Lunder has got off like a steam train. He's 3-0 up against the young man from Vietnam. Billy Thorpe is playing against Canadian Martin Daigel, who had earlier on a huge chance to beat Shane Van Boning. 7-4 up he was, and then he missed a nine ball hill hill. And Shane Van Boning came out winner, 8-7. Back to this one then, George. Shevchek breaking the balls here. Game number three. One ball to the side, no, denied. Two ball to the corner, denied. And the one ball up on top with the bank shot or safety. You decide. Here comes the young gunner from Poland. Two time Las Vegas Open champion. 192 players at each event, and he bested them all twice, two years in a row. It's pretty strong, isn't it? That's amazing is the word, because the field has improved, and we had pretty much all the top players of the world here. And they're still here, folks. Get down to Vegas, get your picture taken, get your autographs, get your ball signed. Have Mark do a little um, two-piece cue. No, we don't get involved in that anymore. Okay. Ralph Suke is on table two, our other stream table with commentary. He's up against the young pretender, young Riku Rompanen, 15-year-old from Finland. Suke, 1-0 ahead. And all the other matches, guys, are available on tv.kazoom.com. Head over there, register yourselves, and see how you can watch like a pro. Never miss a ball. Uh, I can do that from the, from the commentary booth, but I miss a lot. Does he, can he get through there? He's gonna hit quite a bit of one ball and the bit that he hits sends the cue ball right to the corner pocket. So he's gonna try to influence the direction with English. A little draw here. He'll be satisfied with that, but it's quite an easy jump for these guys these days. He'll be going straight for that short stick. It's almost a hanger for these guys, isn't it, George? It so really jump is. Like this. These guys are amazing with, with, with today's equipment. Well, they're amazing with a broomstick, but with this equipment, they're just even better. And as you called it, Mark, don't kiss off the four. Well, is he scratched? No, I don't think he's got okay. No legs, George. Run out of legs. I was going to say, I don't think he has enough pace there. Wow. Well, he didn't miss it by far. <laughs> he got mighty close. You're more confident than I am, George. <laughs> he uh, came pretty close to the drink there. done it shot clock came in just at that time now then here's the first chance in this rack for Victor Zelensky both players have been junior champions reminds me a lot of Francisco Sanchez Ruiz this guy when he gets in the balls, when he gets going. Mm -hmm. 
He's a flying machine. He's the whiz. And if you oh. guys, if you guys are going to be back tomorrow, folks, we've got one heck of a match for you. I'm pretty sure we'll have it on the stream. I'll let you know what it is later. I'm going to keep you on the. He's overhit this. He's overhit this. Oh, he's okay. I'm going to keep you guessing what it just might be. Of course, if they want to cheat, George, they can go to probilliardseries.com and uh, have a look at the the bracket and the prize money. Everything you need to know is on there. Time yeah. schedules and upcoming tournaments. It sure is. And I'll give you a hint. It has to do with defending champions. Well, has he got a slight angle on this? I think he might just have a little bit. Just to draw up the right-hand side of the eight ball as we look, or not? He is in, he's in great shape. He can go up either side, I believe, just by cheating the pocket just a hair. Yeah, he went up that side there. Moves the cue ball with ease. Nice, powerful stroke. Both these gentlemen have a nice, powerful stroke. Looking at Shevchik there, he's running out of room on his T-shirt for sponsors, <laughs> George. If you want to sponsor, you better get in quick. Well, with an 813 Fargo, you're going to get pretty quite a few sponsors knocking on your door. And for his first click on the scoreboard, Victor makes that 10 ball and cuts it to 1-2. to two. Our referee for this one, Dwayne Payne. These guys on their feet all day. At least we get to sit down, don't we, George? A little bit too much. But we have a lot of walking around to do, so it makes it fun. Bringing you the live action is a lot of fun, folks. We, we truly enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it at home. Our very own Tim Deroita is in action. He's up against another pole, Radislav Babicca. And another one, Mirzko Fortunski, is 1-0 up against John Wims. Lots going on around, guys. Well, look at this. That's the se second that's how time. That's how, that's how we started the match. Both balls fired right into that side pocket. So... Break is tables breaking good, or is it the player breaking good? He's called the push out. So where are you pushing to, George? Ten ball. I want to push to right where the ten ball is and leave him right in the middle. Leave the cue ball just off the rail, though. So uh, if you leave it off the rail, he might take it. If he put it on the rail, he might give it back. Let's see exactly what the young man does. They are on a 30 second shot clock. They have 60 seconds after the break to decide what they need to do, plan their attack. As I said earlier with uh, Christina Tkach when I commentated with her, it's for the rack attack. And uh, Wojcik. Looks like he's going to come around behind the eight. Staying to the middle of the table. Not all the way around. Well, he's left the jump shot. And not a very... He might have room for this shot. It looks like there's a very, very small window... Yeah, the prob pro problem is I think it's a two-inch window and the ball's to two and a quarter. So he's gone for the short stick. I'm surprised he just didn't jump it with his playing cue. Well, he completed the jump. He just didn't get the make. Yeah, has he left 
He's left. shut on. He go, definitely goes to yeah. the right-hand corner. He's left half a ball, like you just mentioned, Mark. Problem is, if he doesn't uh, put some English on this ball, the cue ball goes to the corner pocket on the left. Shot clock going off. Just beat the shot clock there, but he's left this in the side. And a nice angle yeah, it looks to like go anywhere he wants. It looks like it runs into the five. Well, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, see, that's exactly what he's looking at. Lots of good things can happen off this. So he's also got the, you know, the three ten combo if he doesn't go quite right. No, well, he's got a clear shot of it. It will have to be the four ten, or does it pass, George? I think he'll play the 4-10. Yeah, he's got to play the 4-10. Doesn't pass, does it? No, I don't think so. Just makes handiwork out of that shot. And this lays nice with just... Yeah, we just medium speed, roll the cue ball so it comes back across so we can have the four in the same corner. Yep, ten ball comes up, of course. And the referee replaces it on the spot. No early... No early tens and no tens on the brakes. Uh, we were having a little bit of technical difficulty, and they're working on it, folks. So bear with us. Now then, slide this down the rail. So much confidence, this young man. And when you can make balls like that, why not? <laughs> You should have confidence, right? We have some great camera work by our camera people, Mogan and Clementine. Well, couldn't have hit that much better. Safe to say, both players are in stroke and that's why we're about to go all level again at 2-2. Two -two. This could be going all the way. Race to eight. Yep. Quarter of the way there. Too bad it can't go into overtime, huh? You win by two, and it might, we might be here all night. Well, I think we may have taken care of our technical difficulties, so hopefully the static's gone. I think they've been trying to get rid of my accent, George, but they can't quite do it. <laughs> well, they've got a program for it. <laughs> Dwayne well, showed it to me earlier. As I've been walking around the arena in between matches, I like to go and look at all the other tables and, you know, talk to some of the league players and the vendors, have some pictures taken. It's all good fun. And I've just had somebody... Well, they're all, they all keep trying to do impressions of my voice. <laughs> and little Savannah Easton has just done one on Instagram of me, but I happened to catch her at it. Oh, look did you? Yes, I caught her at it. There you go. Well, take a look at that. <laughs> well, this young man right here breaking the balls, tied at two. I think it's actually on the Salotto Instagram page, guys, if you want to have a look at that sometime. Is actually sponsored by Predator, and he's breaking with that BK Rush. Oh, that last... <laughs> thing really nailed it didn't it look at the state of this yeah. table George two six well the state of this table seven is look at that and that's kind of what happens when they break from the side all the balls will group or go towards the side you break from occasionally we see some very nice breaks where they spread out real nice too though but Victor on two occasions broke two balls to the same side pocket where the nine is and uh, this time, only one went in. 
Yeah, I'll take care of this shot, George. He's going to push. We are just waiting for him to decide. Well, I like this. I like what he's doing here. Yeah. He's pushed to a jump. Ooh. Oh, but has he? Has he got it right? No, I, I think it rolled up on top of the one and just, I mean, on top of the six there and is kissing it. It's, it's tough here. Let's see if he gives it back. He's got 60 seconds to decide after the push out. He's yeah. giving it back. This is a tough, tough shot. Oh, well, straight away. He's called the corner. I guess he can see that. I guess it's not uh, froze on the six. Well, referee Dwayne Payne. <coughs> we have an eagle eye, Jason Shaw. We've got an eagle eye ref as well. Look at this shot, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, he played it Nothing as well. but net. Well, yeah. Sure, he didn't really want to make it, but he did. He needs another one. We could be having two in a row here. <laughs> we have got two in a row. Two great shots from the young Paul. Did you call that youthful exuberance? I certainly do. That one went a little wrong on him. Yeah, clenching his teeth. Yeah, he just can't believe he got behind that seven ball with the cue ball. Go to the side rail right there and right at the four. Oh, he's made it in the wrong pocket. He called the other pocket. And... Uh, this means that the incoming player has the option to play the shot or give it back and have Victor play the shot. And with what he has available to him, I don't think he will give this back. Not sure if he can pocket it in his corner pocket, but he can cross it and play a safety. He could also maybe just stun the ball right behind the six and stick on it and take the five ball up two rails to where he's standing. Two options. And he played option number one. Oh, Look what a sweet fabulous. shot. Well, they're very, very good friends, but you wouldn't know it but from that shot. Well, they're not friends at the table right now. There's a world championship at stake, and this is on the one lost side. One wow. of them is he didn't done. Get enough, didn't get enough English on it. Only one can continue. Yeah, if you looked at the, the list of players, you wouldn't expect to see these two on the loser's side. No. They've won one and lost one each. Victor lost to Alex Pagaline eight to one, and then defeated Loho Sum eight to one. Uh, Wojcik defeated Khalid Algamdi eight to two, and then lost to Mateus Snigaki seven eight. So it went hill hill. They played well. Yeah, that was against his fellow countrymen mm -hmm. as well. Nicely done. The 
There's ten Touch. ball. This ten ball to break the tie th at two. Take a one game lead. And there it is. And on he goes. Race to eight. And we'll take a two minute break and be right back with you folks. And we're back to the live action. Shevchik breaking the balls. Playing that one ball to the side pocket on the left. Let's see if all the balls roll over to the right. And he plays the one successfully. Shot on the two he has. Getting on the three is going to take some English. Quite a bit of it. Looks like he has a nice thin cut on his two ball, but getting back down for the three is tough. Yeah, lots of high left. Yeah. Trying to check it back across. Didn't take, though. He's good, though. He, can he play is the, good. He can play the safety up against the 5-8. Or he can uh, go for the cut. Yeah, he'll be going for this surely. No. Well, you called that, George, the 5 8. Now then, jump stick. Which one? No, he's not bringing the jump. Yeah, that's uh, pretty close. But yeah, these boys can get over that, though, can't they? Yes, they can. But with what degree of accuracy? That's the difference. When well, that close, it's tough. I think we're going to find out right now. Yes, I think we are. he's gone for it, hasn't he? Has he yeah. gone for the jump stick? He went for the jump stick Certainly and he's has. already called it. It's easy to tell when he's got the jump stick because he plays with a wood shaft, but he plays with the air rush carb. And here we go. Well, it's a good okay. hit. <laughs> it's more than a good hit. Although I don't think he was playing that. But even if he, wa if he was, if he wasn't, what a result. He got the first part of the shot right. He completed the jump. Yeah, holds his hand up. He yeah. didn't play that. He didn't play that. So anything else is a bonus after you make a good hit like that. That's why it's important to at least make sure you hit the ball. They won't come to the table with ball in hand. Is he going for a three rail kick? Two rail kick. This is tough to judge with sliding rails. Yeah. Got to miss the six. If he hits that diamond, he's golden. Oh, oh wow. He's lifted his head up there. I don't think I've ever seen that. He lifted his head right up. I, I just 
don't think I've ever seen somebody trap the cue under the cue, trap the ball under the cue. That's the most horrible sound in pole, a miscue. Of that magnitude, yeah. That's a big one. Meanwhile, I'm sorry, but Victor says, I love you, my friend, but I'm glad you did that because I come back to the table. Yeah, he's good on this. Yeah. And this looks like 3-3. Three, three. Can't see him missing from here. That's the nicest sound in pole. The hit the back of the pocket with you. It really is, especially when you're practicing and you're practicing long, tough shots, and you're hitting the back of the pocket. Nothing like it. Nothing like it at all. I think you'll run all three balls into the same pocket. Going to play a bit of one pocket here, George. A little bit. Someone told me about that game. It's supposed to be pretty nice. Was it Alex Peggy Lyon? <laughs> One of the best in the world, if not the best. And he's here. Here in Roaring. We're at 3-3. Let's go around the room very quickly, George. Bring him up to date with some scores. Abdullah Al-Shamari, who was on this table earlier on. He's 3-0 up against Danny Olsen. Evan Lunda, 3-1 against Dung Kwok Hong. Billy Thorpe is in action against Martin Dale. He's 2-1 up. Eric Horlofsson, another Canadian, is 1-1 with Emil Andre Gangflot. John Mora, another Canadian in action against one of our own, the commentator from Australia, James Georgiadis. Had a fun time commentating with him. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's mm. a good old Aussie boy, mate. And he broke from the side like he has in the past, and both balls that he pocketed went to the pocket he was intending, but they went a little short. So here comes Wojcik. With a shot on the one, keep the cue ball between the eight and the deuce, and play the two ball to the side, opposite side. Right there. Now he probably used that, he utilized that window between the four nine. These two guys going at it, blow for blow, punch for punch, toe to toe. It's a battle. Who's going to have the knockout punch? Oh, look how nice he's laid the cue ball up so he can wrap out of the corner to come up uh, for the five. Could have used just a little bit more angle, but he's fine. He's going to wrap right out and come straight up. There you go. Well, he's oh. over hit this. Just a little. Just means he's going to have to travel the cue ball a little bit more. Is the 10 ball in his way, though, is a question. If he goes all the way down and around. Oh, he went soft. He went soft. He might, ooh, he might pay the price. Yeah, I can't believe that. He, he wow. overcut it. And that's why it hung up. If he hits it, if he hits it where he, in the middle where he'd want to, he'd have the pace for it to go in. Wow. Zelensky straight out of his chair. Sure, he didn't think he was going to get back to the table in this particular rack, but now looks like he's the guy that's going to go one up again. He 
He's got the world on his shoulders there. Did you see that? The world on his shoulders? I missed it. Exciting to watch these two kid, two guys play. Uh, two kids play. They're not kids. A 22 and a 28-year-old. But exciting to watch them play. Nice flow to their game. Um, very accurate. Great cue ball. Nice patterns. Pinpoint position. This then for four three. Yeah, he'll be halfway there, Mark. And there it is. Four to three. Zielinski over Shevchik. Looking to even out those uh, seven matches that he's played them. Roman Hebler in action. There he is. Look, that's what I meant, George. He's got the world on his shoulders. Look. <laughs> Tyler Starr in action against Sebastian Rodriguez. They're level 2-2. Two, two. Roman Hebler from Czech is 2-0 up on Esteban Robles. And listen to this for a latest score. Justin Martin is 4-1 up against semi-finalist in the Las Vegas Open, Daniel Maciol. Justin Martin going great guns. Zelensky to break then. Mac yes. Number eight leads 4-3. Maciol, another one of the great Polish players. Taking a look at this, he's got a tied up one ball. What am I looking at? He's got tied up three ball and the two ball on the other side of the table. I wonder if he'll play a, play a shot so he can play safe and leave the cue ball where the three ball is for a safety. He's gonna have to travel the cue ball to where the seven is. I think he might be able to draw straight into this. Can he steal a bit and draw into it? Uh, I think he catches the rail and goes away. That would have been a lovely shot if it had been yeah. just a fraction straighter. straighter. I think so. Yeah. Well, is he playing the bank? He's, he's probably going to just stick the cue ball right where the three ball is and bring the three ball around three rails. Well, if he wants to be really aggressive, he could play the six ball here, but I think he's called he the bank. No, he did play the six, George. He did oh, call he is the, playing six. the six. Yeah, yeah. I expected him to get that, really. I, that was a good, good offensive shot. There's Conrad Yushushin right up there watching his countryman play in the blue shirt. That's what threw me. What's he doing wearing a blue shirt? It should be <laughs> red. <laughs> no. Nice shot. Is it? Nice shot. Uh, yep, oh, yes. it's going to slide in. It was just enough. A little harder than may have hung up. Well, can go short side on this five if he wants. He's got the angle just for that. This is pretty standard. Six ball hanging over the pocket, just a matter of pocketing the five. Probably want to be in the same spot or one of the side pockets for the seven. It looks like he's going to choose that. He just aimed it for us. Yeah, could go two racks clear here. And it's a good time to start pulling away. You're edging ever closer to that winning eight. That's the magic number in this first stage. And then it's double elimination, of course, until 32. And then we go race to 10. He 
he's just flowing, folks. Yeah, not much to this guy. Yeah, not much to call when he's playing like this. Just sit back and admire the wizardry of the whiz. Viktor Zelensky, 5-3 now against Wojtek Shevchik. He's taking a break. And if we're taking, if he's taking a break, we're taking a break. 100%. Stay with us. Here. <laughs> well, 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 the alarm's going off. I, th I think you've just bought a round of drinks, George. It's to show everyone that you finally got your wallet out. <laughs> We're having some uh, fun here at the Rio, folks. Well, we promised fireworks. We've got a, we're not a fire, but we've got a fire alarm going <laughs> off. <laughs> Wojciech is probably saying, I'm not going to shoot pool under these conditions. We got some kind of alarm going off, and uh, you can hear it in the background. Well, if it is an evacuation, Wojtek Shevchik has got an advantage because he's already out of the arena. <laughs> well, t take a look uh, at the rest of the ballroom and you'll see some of the players just they go right on playing. These guys have not. It's like the Moscone Cup all over again, George. Kind of sounds like it. It's loud enough. Let's try and bring you some latest scores then. Eric Holofsson, 4-1 down now to Emil Andre Gangflot. Roland Garcia in action. They're just starting out. He's against Beda al and making a big comeback here. Evan Lunda was 3-1 was up. Now, Dung Quoc Hong, the sensation from Vietnam, has taken a 4-3 lead. Billy Thorpe also 3-2 up on the guy who should have beaten Shane Van Boney, Martin Diaglet. Yeah, they're good. Looks like they might be waiting just a second. Dwayne Payne is uh, signaling to see if they, if he wants to ask the players to continue or not. It looks like, well, the lights are still flashing, so the alarm. Uh, We're good, it's stopped. We don't mind the flashing, it's just the, yeah. no, he doesn't want to play with that. He's not to play until the lights go off. Uh, and a justifiable. Ask, I believe. Well, within his rights, I and mean, yeah, you sure. can't see it maybe from where you are, guys, but there's there lights go. there, you see it. The flashing lights. Oh, that was turned into a disco, George. You fancy a dance? Look at Roland over there, still shooting. And so is, <laughs> is, is uh, Duong from Vietnam. He's from the Philippines, Roland Garcia. I mean, this is quiet for him. <laughs> All that's missing now is a, a cockerel crowing. I spent a lovely year there in Cebu. Did you? Yes. Just waiting for the lights to go off. Have a look at all those tables in the background, though. They're not worried either. 
They are the BCA and USA Pool League players here. There's around about six to 7,000 of them all playing their league championships, the finals. They've been working hard in their leagues all around the world. Players from Canada. You know, Mark, speaking of, of the highlights from the BCA and the USA Pool Leagues, I'm going to shout out to a young lady from Tucson, Arizona, who just placed second in the ladies' silver division in the eight ball. Her name is Tracy Price from Tucson, Arizona. I saw her picture, yes, getting her trophy. Good player, Tracy. Mm -hmm. You're Arizona through and through you, George, yes, aren't you? Yes, I am. We like our play. We have a strong pool community in Arizona. Yeah, I'm still yet to experience mm -hmm. that. We did have, of course, the Arizona Open twice, the Pro Billiard Series. Yes. I f went to one of them, but I never got to see any of the city. So oh, that's too bad. I should have taken you out and get gotten you a Sonoran dog. I remember last time we were here, you took me to Griff's for the first ever time. Yeah. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Hall community sadly lost a big, big name oh my, in the Las Vegas Hall community. Mark Griffin, of course, owner of Griff's and started the BCA leagues here years ago. Sadly passed away recently, and there's some lovely tributes to him around the various rooms, some nice big 20, 30 foot posters of him. So rest in peace to you, Mark Griffin. Thank you for all you did for this sport. And he's part of the reason, a big part of the reason why we're watching what we're watching now. 6-3 now. Well, I don't know what's happened out on table 18, but the alarm hasn't put Dong Kwok Hong off. He was 3-1 down to Evan Lunde. He's now 6-3 up. Wow. Tremendous comeback. So we're looking forward to tomorrow we'll have the winners qualification starting tomorrow morning at 11 a.m already decided and through sanchez ruiz will play lee van corteza mark beisterbosch will play shane van boning dennis grabet from estonia will play dutch jan van lierop torsten holman will play conrad musician and excellent catchy. I know you're looking forward to this one, oh, George. Yes. Excellent catchy versus Ko Ping Chung. And we'll be having some great games live for you tomorrow. And remember, it's all available to watch on tv.kazoom.com. Go there, register. You can register for a week if you want, or you can do it for the year. That's what I do. 99.99 for the year. I think it's euros, but I think it translates to dollars as well. It's, it's the pretty same. close. They're, pretty, they're pretty very close. close right? George said he'll pay the difference. There you sure. go. Sure, sure. And the reason I'm looking forward to that match between Kachi and Ko is they're both defending ex-champions. 2021, Kachi won it right here in this arena. And 2019, for the first time that we had this tournament here in Las Vegas, Ko Ping Chung won it. So founding champions, I guess you might call them will face off and very fitting as this match that we have here is our uh, is, is our Las Vegas Open champion Sorry, and I'm our uh, uh, <laughs> world 10 ball champion see you champions oh, right here in Las now. Vegas yeah, you can oh, yeah, see yeah. Bader Alawahadi in action there look on the second table up there's Doc Kwok Hong the Vietnamese player on the nearest table to us He had a great, he had a great Las Vegas Open tournament. He's up against Evan Lunder, sat there in the red shirt, you can see. Roland Garcia next to him, up against Bader Alwahadi, of course. Alwahadi's taken the first rack there. And Mark, while you look at more scores, can I give a shout out again to Jam Up Apparel? Sorry, gentlemen. 
course you can. Allison Fisher now has her own line, as does Tyler Steyer with Jam Up Apparel. What about my line? You didn't mention my line. I I've didn't know you had your own line with them. Did you I know not? they take care of you, but uh, I think I think you're the only person I didn't haven't told George. <laughs> I've told everyone else. Here we are then. Oh, Victor on his phone. Look. I thought maybe he's texting texting his sweetheart. I know his girlfriend from Ukraine, I believe. And this interesting little story about Wojtek as well. During the pandemic, when lots of these online tournaments were going on, mm -hmm. Wojtek used to play a lot of them. And there used to be two Alsatians that were running around his, uh, two German Shepherd Alsatian dogs running oh. around his table while he was playing. Now, I know you like dogs. You've got a little I dog, love haven't dogs. you? My two little buddies are golden retrievers. And they're not little, they're 100 pound goldens. <laughs> so they're pretty big I dogs. didn't say they were little, you did. <laughs> I did, I know. That's why I said, no, they're not little. Now, I've been looking for a guy in the crowd who I was talking to during the break. I can't see him. I hope he hasn't stepped out because I had something that I wanted to tell you about him, but I think he's disappeared for the moment. A young guy, uh, uh, not a young guy, but a guy from Australia, and his name is Bruce. And we call everyone from Australia Bruce. Good eye, Bruce. And this young, this guy that I was t talking about used to work for Channel 9, who did all the lighting for the big snooker tournaments in Australia. And he was very, very impressed with these Predator lights. And he was asking about them. And so I've sent him over to Ira Lee, the designer, of course, the inventor of the Predator Arena light. And they are available at the Predator booth here. So if you're in the building, if not, go to predator.com and everything you need to know, everything's for sale there. And the young man with his elbows on his knees is Wojek Shevchik, who won here in 2022 in this very arena. His runner-up was a young man from South America, Christopher Davis. What yep. a clinic he put on during that tournament. I like what he's doing here, Shevchik, actually. He's staying focused, whereas Wojtek uh, sorry, whereas Victor isn't. He's just looking around. On his, I wonder what game he's playing. Do you reckon he's playing Paul on his phone? <laughs> I pretty much doubt that. He might be watching the highlights, George. He, he might, might be, be watching the first, first couple of racks. No, he's not listening to us, mate. He hasn't got his headphones in. Well, we've had everything here. We've had rain stop play. We've had the fire alarm going off. At least if there was a fire in here, George, the rain would put it out. <laughs> He's got his own very own built-in sprinkler system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did shut down some tables today, didn't we? Yeah, crazy weather for Las Vegas. I mean, I walked across to TGI Fridays with Jim for a burger mm -hmm. at lunchtime, and you could see the mountains in the distance absolutely covered in snow. It was beautiful to wake up to this morning. It really was. All the mountains around Las Vegas snow-capped. You can hear them talking to each other. Yep, we need any. Do you speak any Polish, George? Not a word. I know you speak a bit of Spanish. Why don't you say hello to any Spanish watching? We've got Sanchez Ruiz playing tomorrow morning. So. El campeón, el conquistador, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. The whole Spanish contingent, and Jose Alberto Delgado, David Alcaide, Jonas Suto. Yeah, Jonas won again tonight. Yeah. He had a good win. I, I like his style of play. I really do. Yeah, colorful character. Mieszko Fortunski, another one from Paul Land. He's 3 1 up against John Wims. And Justin Martin is now 5 2 up on Daniel Maciel. Wow. Our good friend Esteban Robles from Alpha Coin is 3 1 down. 
against Roman Hebler. Tyler Starr has taken a 4-3 lead over Sebastian Rodriguez. And Pius Labutis, 6-1 up on Hunter Lombardo. And that'll be a big scale for Justin Martin if he takes that Masiel. Big scale for him. Well, if you want something to watch at the moment, guys, head on over to table two. Riku Rompanen, the young Finnish guy, is up against the Kaiser, Ralph Suke, their level 2-2. Two -two. I think I'm running out of things to say, George, <laughs> for the first well, time ever in my life. How about the prize fund? How's our money doing? Go on, talk about that. Alrighty. Money. First place is $60,000. I like to talk, tuck money. Second place is $40,000. Third and fourth is $20,000. Fifth through eighth is nine thousand. Ninth through sixteenth is fifty-two fifty, and just making the final thirty-two gets you two thousand dollars. Ah, that should pay for your trip almost. I'm guessing. It'll pay for the week here. And of course, lots of events coming up during the year as well. We have the Wisconsin Open, the PBS, the Pro Billiard Series. We're going to be back in the Ho-Chunk Casino there. And if you haven't been there, guys, you've got to go there. Absolutely fantastic building. That's 17th of May through to the 21st of May. And there's men's and women's Pro Billiard Series events at the Ho-Chunk. It's a beautiful casino inside waterfalls. It's on two levels. There's the league championships as well going on. Is somebody stealing the rack there, look. <laughs> that's Jeff McGee. It's one of our referees that's been on the table two for some time. He came over, maybe they need a new rack on table two. Right now, I talked to the hotel security. Okay, um, everything's okay. They just have to reset stuff. It's like, I just don't know how long that will take. Yeah, Victor just explaining to head referee and tournament director John Lehman that he doesn't want to play doesn't want to play while the lights are flashing because it's in his eyes and that's understandable so we've got a little bit of a delay for you guys too much light in the arena and there's them lovely Predator lights I was telling you about, George. Oh, there's a good look at them up on top of your screen there. That's In right. Interesting story about those lights. The guy that invented them, Ira Lee, three cushion fanatic as well. He's actually got a booth over there, the Karen booth. Okay, we're all good. Lights are off. Here we go. The lights are on, off. We're all waiting. Back to the pool action here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in the Predator CSI Arena, Pro Billiard Series Arena. Victor Zielinski leading five games to three in a race to eight over his countryman, Wojak Shevchik. Breaking for the one, and I think the nine follows her right in. Nope, two ball went that way. What a rack. Straight in one ball, but it's a dry break. Well, Keith Paradise, another one of our commentators, part of the commentary team here. Just walked past and had a bit of a gloat because he's already finished his match. <laughs> I've had that pleasure how many times in the past two days? <laughs> uh, straight in one ball, then the two. Comes the two ball. Wojcik been sitting in his chair for a while. Comes out due to the dry break. And trailing by two games. Two ball right past the three for the corner. I think if he pockets this one here, he's pretty much got it in hand. The five, the six, the seven all pretty much lead to each other. The seven to the eight is, again, 
very handy. And the eight to the nine is, um, as far as racks go, he's lined up pretty, pretty good. This might be his hardest shot because he's kind of elevated over the five. Yeah, a bit of a mistake there. Just caught the five ball, played it much too hard. I think he wanted more of an angle on this anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, can just cue to the side of it slightly, not too bad. Oh, he's okay, nice stop. And he'll just draw this ball up for the six. Playing it in the corner. The instant they hit that ball, they make contact. The ball is just headed right for that pocket. It's just so, so pretty to see. Now you'll just find the middle of the table and close this rack out. Well, a little bit. It's a change of nice pace. Oh, soft. nice, lovely, yeah, nice yeah. and soft. Wow, drop that in. Mark, these are these are so easy that I might bet you a dollar I could run them out. I'll bet you a dollar I couldn't and miss on purpose. <laughs> you would. <laughs> and this is to close it down by one game. And go four to five. It's a big ten ball. A little break in the action. As he was focused, as you were saying, he was kind of like just zenning out. Yeah, it was very interesting. I like looking at things like that and I mm -hmm. pick up on things, you know, studying the players and their body language. And throughout that break, Wojtek Shevchek was staring down at his shoes and the great snooker player, seven time world champion snooker player, Stephen Hendry very famously used to look down at his shoes to refocus, mm -hmm. to concentrate, hold himself together. And Victor just seemed to lose a bit of focus, I thought, in that. I agree. So I think that's very important. What they do, what they do in the chair is very important, almost as important as what they do on the table. Four to five, breaking the balls. One ball for the right-hand side pocket as you view the table is what he's playing. Taking dead aim on the one. Oh, but he uh, took second prize on the three ball into the side pocket. Yeah, and look at this shot of the one and look where the two ball is. Doesn't this open up nice? Well, this could be 5-5 five, five very, very quickly. Could make up for the time we lost here, George. A couple <laughs> of quick racks. You know, he, uh, he he could run this out in less than maybe four minutes. But he's going to have some work to do. He's, he's got some work to do. He's got a tough shot here. And he's got to go back across towards the one again with the cue ball to get on the two. He's overcut it. Yeah, it wasn't... Uh, that by no means was a hanger. That was a tough shot. And he decided to go downtown there for the two ball. Stay on one side. Okay. He's gonna go for the bank. Aggressive. Think about it, if he misses this, he might find cover. But I don't think Victor has any intention of missing this ball. Beautiful. A little straighter than he'd like to be to get on the four. Anywhere away from that route will be okay. Oh, he, he was perfect. able to, yeah. to cheat it just a little bit and come in very nice and lay nice for this four. Well, a little bit awkward with the six there, look. Maybe. Might even use the six. Can he, he slide over? He might not even touch the six, but he could also hit the top of it and stay there for the five. Well, caught the top of the five instead, and that's even better. Yes. 
Yeah, he'll probably come down and play it right there and just follow up for the seven. These guys are making these racks, going through these racks uh, so easily. I'm going to put you on the spot here, George. Fire away. Who's your man to lift the trophy? I know who oh. you're going to say, and I will write it down. I will write all right. Uh, in, this, down. in this talent, I, I, I would never pick one person. You have to. One name. One name, one name, one name. Take it all. Well. I guess I'm going to have to go with our young Russian sensation. Federgorst. Okay. As my wife would say, that's my boy. Oh. She saw him win twice in Arizona, and he's she's pretty much adopted Federer and, and Christina. <laughs> she likes them both. She's very disappointed she didn't catch me doing commentary with Christina earlier. Oh, she can go back and watch it. Yep. All available on YouTube. Anything we say, George, is out there forever. Yes, it is. Sometimes I wish I could take some of it back. 6-4 then, Victor Zelensky. Leading against the current, the reigning World Temple champion. You know, the sad part about it is, is one of these two is done in this tournament. This is the loser round, and uh, one doesn't come back from this. Yeah, and whichever one, you know, doesn't proceed to the, the next round, I'm sure we'll be, we'll see him in the crowd cheering on the other. 100% uh, right, Mark. Just 100% right there. But as we can see, he'll probably be wearing a blue shirt like, uh, uh, Conrad was. Yushushin, up in the stands. Pierce Labutis is on the hill. The Lithuanian 7-1 against Hunter Lombardo. Tyler Steyer 5-3 up. Ball on the break, no shot on the one. Push out, probably to the jump shot behind the 4-9. I like that, straight away. No matter where you are around, where you're from around the world, every pool player has to learn two words, push and extension. <laughs> you can now, get by on that. Now on the time clock, right? And it's funny that some of the Vietnamese players don't speak a word of English, but I heard them call extension two or three times very well. So yeah, they learned one of them real quick. He's gonna push to a different place. He's gonna push to a shot over the five. Yeah, this is where knowing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses come in. Uh, I like him jumping this ball and two railing the one to where he's standing now and holding the cue ball behind the two. I just had a thought, you know, if you're the taller of two guys, he might not like this because maybe it's hard for him to reach. But for Zelensky, it's easier for him to reach because he's same right-handed but he's mm -hmm. that bit taller so I'm not saying that's the case in this particular situation but that could arise couldn't it mm -hmm. push to a place where your opponent cut wow uh, there's you? that sound again which we absolutely hate didn't we hear, didn't we hear that from Wojciech we did yeah they're one all now in Miss Q's Expecting that tip now. Has he done any damage to it? He's doing a bit of work on it. I'm just wondering yeah. if Foytek might ask him to stop, but he won't. Uh, apparently that three ball goes by the eight. 
obviously done a little bit of damage to his tip there, Zelensky, yeah. working hard to repair it, look. Oh, Shevchek's looking good here. beautifully struck and look at the nice look how nice he leaves just that proper amount of angle to get the cue ball just off the rail and lined up straight for the six between the eight and the rail if he can cheat the pocket of hair he'll want to get away from the, uh, the rail to the left just run you straighter just on the eight. Draw back and play mm -hmm. the eight into the same pocket, George. He could, he could do. He could. No. Yeah. See the with the rails sliding the way they are, Mark. That that's very easily cheated from that angle, as long as the speed wasn't hard. I'm glad you're here, George. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too, Mark. <laughs> I don't care what they say about you. Nor do I. <laughs> And Shevchik is very happy to close this score down by one and cut the lead to one, his deficit to one. And he's done just that. And we'll be breaking the balls. What a break. Yeah, that miscue from Zelensky. How many racks is it going to cost him? Because it's winner breaks. Well, he wasn't guaranteed anything on the shot. It was a jump shot. And uh, so it wasn't guaranteed. But he gave a ball in hand. And that's almost guaranteed to cost you the game. Very, very intense guy, Wojtek. Very focused. And we're seeing the body language there that we saw in his first match, remember? Was it against Alex Pagulayan? Shevchak? No, against Pagalain? No, 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 Zelensky. Z yes. Pay attention, George. I was kind of watching <laughs> him working on his fingernail with the same intent that he was working on his tip. So I thought that was kind of funny. In, perhaps he injured his fingernail <laughs> as well as his tip. Could be. Could be. Playing the one ball to the side pocket. Straight in. Oh, look at the two. Dresses up for a nice safety. Yeah. Thin off this two ball down behind 6 3, probably. Roland Garcia, 3 3 with Beda Al Wahadi. He's going to thin this. No, he's going to. Well, he went the other way. Very smart shot, but he's given up the rail off the bottom. Bottom rail. Yeah, I think there's an easiest, easiest kick. Now, see, he wants to kick this back. He wants this cue ball to come off that two and roll up towards the four. Or is he coming off the side? He's got to narrowly miss the eight. He's calling it, just in case. I think he just wants to kick it narrowly by the eight and the cue ball towards that four ball. Well, he's gonna have to, oh, he's okay. He's got 15 seconds left. Yeah, it's gone wrong. Just lost his way in this past couple of racks. Maybe it was that time on the phone when he was in his chair and, and his opponent was meditating. Two ways to play this. Let's see 
what he chooses. He can lay the two ball right by the four and take the cue ball up table. He's just going to push it and bring the cue ball over by the six, too. Either way. No, he can thin this two now. The left side and come down behind the balls. I like that, Mark. And looks like he's digging down. No, he is playing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to get cover, is it? Or is there going to be a window? Well, it's certainly a window to the jump. He goes straight back for the short stick, brings it with him. He might lay one of them down. Which one's he going to lay down? The playing cue. Going airborne. Polska Airlines. We're going to take off in about three seconds and land about two seconds later. Name of that, the name of that jump cue was Airborne 2. <laughs> I just read it on the side when he was holding it up there. Now, I like him shooting this ball up the rail and the cue ball right behind the four. You tuck it in real nice. Ah, nicely tucked in. Good night. Ten ball he's called there, I think. I think he called the ten ball. Very, very cagey game, this one. Yeah, he's pushed the three ball to a good place. Left the shot on the deuce. Not sure if the three ball can slide past that eight ball into that corner pocket. Not sure it does. He's digging down, George. He's going to come short side come on short. this. Somewhere by the eight ball. Look how pretty this is. Well, don't do. Wow. Well, if he wants to be aggressive, he can either jump it We'll go rail first. Both available. Going with a short, short cue. And height can really play into this shot. If ever he needs to knock in one of these jump shots, he's now. Well, uh, we'll be quite happy with that outcome I think so and as I've said as I've said before hitting the ball is first on the agenda what happens afterwards sometimes can be a bonus nice shot very nice shot look at this cue ball what a touch. They both both have shown quite a touch on the cue ball. Can he slide this now past the eight ball and hook him back? Wouldn't put it past him. He might go two rails at this and just nibble the three and go past the eight. Oh, he... Uh, well, he didn't mean it like that, but that'll do. Holds his hand up just to acknowledge, not to say sorry, but to acknowledge mm -hmm. that he's had a little bit of luck. I think, we should have a, I think we should have a flash in pocket, George. When they call the pocket, it should flash <laughs> on and off just for a couple of seconds. Yeah, that, that'll do wonders for somebody's eyes, for these players' eyes, huh? <laughs> do you know how long it takes for your eyes to adjust when you enter a room? I heard this stat long, many years ago. Tell I me. don't know how, how, how accurate it is. 20 minutes. When you walk into a pool room and the light from outside to walking in, takes your eyes to really adjust to play in capabilities 20 minutes that's what I was told well I've been told that when I walk into a room I light the room up so then it takes 25 for most people around you <laughs> that was an interesting thing but I never forgot that I forget who it was that said it but back to the game here 
And does he bank this down by the six or does he bring the cue ball between the 4-10? Did he call the nine? Just in case, yeah, because he's playing thin off it. Cue ball down here. I might have I might have called the six there, to be honest, but he's called it very, very thin. Nice shot. Nine ball, yeah. Nine ball again. Same type of shot, or is he playing the carom? Billy Thorpe on the hill. 7-3 oh. against Martin Dale. And Martin Dale gave uh, Shane Van Bonny a little scared, didn't he? 7-4 up, Martin was. He'll be very, very disappointed. He even had a chance at Hill Hill and missed a nine ball down the rail. Shane then lost position from nine to ten, but banked in the ten ball to take oh, the wow. match. Wow. Little bend on this, little masse. There you saw the side, the spin. Pretty Just shot. Curving it round. I like those shots in slow motion. They look gorgeous. Yeah, they do. Those are pretty shots. I wonder if he'll hit this uh, five ball with the cue ball to avoid having to go into that six with the five. Oh, oh he just played short, short rail, short side on the five. Six ball hanging over the pocket. We could have a tie ball game in a matter of uh, two minutes. Coming up to 10.30 local time here in Las Vegas. These two young men play so well. That's probably why they're this is the defending champion for this tournament, and the other one has won it back to back, the one just prior to this. Oh, oh, what's he done? He's gone by the seven ball. Well, and now he really has to come with some magic. He's got a little piece of this. Did he call the cross bank? No, he can't hear no. that much of it. He's got, got to beat this kiss. Oh, nicely done with that English. Otherwise, that's a kiss all day long. Well, Victor will be very, very relieved to get another shot here. And he's going to be going for this. And he knows he really shouldn't be there. Just has to. It's a free shot, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I mean, free, free opportunity. Shot. You bet. But he didn't make the error his opponent did. Well... There's another Polish player called Mieszko Fortunci, and his nickname is The Butcher. And I think you know where I'm going with this, George, that seven ball. I'll let you get there. Wow. Meanwhile. Cannot believe that Wojtek has got back to the table. about to be tied at six in this race to eight. Both players have been breaking the balls pretty good. Victor a little better than Wojciech. Billy Thorpe through to the next round, 8-3. Dong Kwok Hong, Vietnamese guy, 8-3 against Evan Lunda. Evan Lunda is out. John Mora, 5-2 down against James Georgiadis. This 10 ball. And we're at level 6-6. Six, six. And level we are. And this promised to be a very, very tough match. Uh, just with both players' resumes. Fargo, tournament, playing each other. All their scores were tight. Victor looks tired. Wojtek is well up for this, having a sip of soda. I think Victor is still in disbelief. Yeah, he 
rarely see any emotion from this guy now at the table. And that's a good thing. Again, breaking, tied at six. Just to break the tie and get on the hill. What a time to lead. Well, listen to this. Albin Ocean is out. Beaten by Daniel Gutenberger, 8-5. Also from Austria, so all Austrian clash. Aust uh, wow. Nesto Dominguez is out to Jeffrey De Luna. I saw that match starting off. Sky Woodward through as well earlier on. As we said, Corey Jewell losing out to Michael Schneider. And Omar Al Shaheen, well, he was beaten 8 1 by Sanjin Perlovanovic. Shane Walford won 8 6 over Minuk Ha. Back, back to this one. Back to this one. He's going to bank this across. Whoa, we never expected that. He was ready to go on the four, on the three, excuse me. Yeah, this is a huge game now. Yep. Winner of this, of course, goes to the hill and will be breaking to win the match and stay in this year's Predator WPA World 10 Ball Championship. Six ball's got some work. He's got to come down to the left side of the table by the side pocket to get on the six, and that's exactly what he's looking at now. Four to the five and the five to the six. That little key keeps him in the tournament. Now he's got to turn it and walk through that door. Oh, he's perfect. He's not happy with this. Oh, I can see why. He's gone a little bit straighter on it than he wanted. He's got some work to do now. Can I have a go round? two rails or he can stun off one rail straight back down let's see how he plays it i like the two He's rails going forward yep like no oh, he came backwards with it very nicely done and look where he ended up right at the side pocket where he can take advantage of the side pocket and have space to cue well he's still he's going to run into rails. the seven george run into the seven here this could push the seven on very, very nicely. Let's just build the tension and watch. Well, he was concentrating on the carom onto the seven, and he did push it on. Now then, he called the seven here, George, I think. What a miss that is. Took his eye off it, probably. That's normally the reason. When you're trying to do something a little bit special with a cue ball. Wow, he's missed it as well, but he hasn't left it. Oh, I can't believe he's missed that <laughs> combo. What a turn of events here we have. Well, this is tension, isn't it? It's, yes, it is. it's pressure, it is. it's it drama. Really you can expect the unexpected from here on in. Did he give him just the edge? If he did, he can hook him with the eight, but he'll have the rail to contend with to use to get to it. No, and I don't think he left any part of that six. Wojciech is in a tough place here. He's got a one rail kick. Call the seven. He wants to hit the top part of the six right into the combo. Uh, pass the nine and back towards that six ball. Unless he can see the six. Oh, look. He just tied it up. We oh. ran out of time. Oh, I think I would have gone for that kick. Four, yeah, but four seconds yeah. he had yeah. left, George. He forgot and was thinking so long. So he's got him on a foul. Okay. 
well, this time has called the seven. Yeah, this time he's going to kick it across the way I th thought he might do the first time. He needs to wake up. That guy is going to be, <laughs> he's missing all the excitement. He probably found a comfortable place. He needs to hit this. If he hits the top part of it, uh, he's golden. He oh, hit it square in the double teeth. Double kiss. Square in the teeth. Whoa, dear, oh dear. What's the chances of that? Hit it absolutely yeah. plumb, full in the face. Look, didn't seven didn't even move. And Victor will take a big advantage here. Get himself on the hill. And the way he's been breaking, Wojciech may not come out of the chair except to shake hands. It's possible. Three balls to go yet, though. I'm not predicting anything just yet. You never know in these situations. Well, we just saw a little, you know, tete-a-tete -tete there on that four ball. Up and down. That's about as tough as you could leave it. Well, there's been thrills spills and now there's a hill and the first man on it is the whiz Viktor Zelensky. The problem for Wojciech is the man that has been breaking the best has the break and needs this one game. Wojciech has to steal this game from him and then break himself. Well it's the last break for Zelensky he needs to make it a good one See those two balls fly towards that side pocket. Dwayne Payne, our head referee, racking the balls with the arrow rack on this apex table. Justin Martin on the hill now, 7-4. He leads Polish Daniel Maciel. Wow. Fortunski, 7-3 up against John Wims. Tim De Reuter, six, four down to Radoslav Babica. Back to the action. Breaking the balls, going for the one ball in the side pocket. The eight ball right next to it, made the one. That's all he has to do. Now he maintains the, the control. Nine ball goes in the corner, bonus. He's got a bank shot on the three or a nice safety behind the 5-8. Well, depending, right depending on how aggressive he wants to be here, he's got a bank on the two. Straight drawback for the three. And I think he goes. But he's got a nice, nice safety behind the five. It's yeah. hard to pass he's that going, out. He's going for it. It's hard to pass it out. This is do or die. All in the open. Just needs one good shot here. If he lands on the three, you feel it's over. Nicely played. Four combo. This young man will take no prisoners. He wants it all when he comes to the table. Blood will be pumping. He's got the angle. Could just draw straight out or go between rail and eight. Mm -hmm. That's nicely played. Anything but straight in here on the seven, he's okay. The writing is on the wall. And that man there is the defending champion. Is he just about to lose his title? Perfect. Couldn't have played that better. Just don't under hit this. It's about to be over for Wojciech Shevchik. No repeat. 
And Victor Zielinski moves on, and the defending champion moves out. Yeah, Wojtek looking very, very disappointed in the corner there, and may well, you know, he's just relinquished his title, so mm -hmm. obviously he's gonna be very, very disappointed. Well, I'm gonna give you guys a Mark White close. I be George Teachea. And I've been Mark White. See you guys later. Thank you for joining us.